Hey everyone, welcome to the Throwaway Podcast. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I finally got out of, uh, what is it called? Probation? Probation. Probation. For being in trouble. You, yeah, you, you're not an intern, we demoted you, and now you've been promoted back to just regular asshole. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of assholes, uh, so JP came, couldn't make it today. M is oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> uh... But yeah, it feels weird being back on here, to be honest. R.I.P. R.I.P. To all the members that have come before us. Uh, R.I.P. Nicole. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> you're going way, 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 way back. Way, episode way. one. No, nah, but episode um, two. Yeah, let's just jump into it, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be a little rusty, to be honest. I should probably like practice or something. Practice what? Talking? Yeah. It's, mm. it's very difficult talking. Yeah, I That's spoken. a fucking thing right there. Anyways. So Luke Perry died. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah, Luke Perry. Um, you had a good run, brother. You had a good run? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I never watched any of his shows, the 90210s or whatever. I, I, I don't know much about I him. Re- I remember. But my, I know of him. Yeah, I remember like, my sister. Yeah. I would all the fucking time, 90210. I was, you know, a, I was a kid, man. I didn't care for drama. I was just trying to hop on the Super Nintendo and fucking kill some shit. I didn't care about... Who's Luke Perry's character was fucking that week. And, yeah, that's true. That but, I mean, hey, nonetheless, uh, a lot of people grew up with Luke Perry in their lives daily. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I am like I said, I've never seen the show, but I knew of him, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, they made fun of him on, I mean, I don't know if they made fun of him. Oh, well, yeah, they made fun of him on uh, The Simpsons. He's been on other shows. Mm-hmm. But I, I've never watched celebrity it. Celebrity Deathmatch? He was in Celebrity Deathmatch, right? I don't know, probably. <laughs> 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 Sure. Uh, but yeah, R.I.P. Luke Perry. Uh, your fans will miss you. And yeah, GG's in the chat. Uh, so also this week we have the Game of Thrones Season 8 trailer. The official trailer. Ba, 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 ba. Season 8. Game of Thrones. The final season. Starting April something. I didn't check. Yeah. <laughs> it's soon. It's soon. And Damn, I need to run all the Game of Thrones episodes, man. That's why I just subscribe to HBO now to, <laughs> to do that. Yeah, just like catch up. Because I'm like, no, well, I... I've seen everything, but I Same. still... It's, you know how... It's been two years, I think, we've been waiting for this shit. Like a year. No, nah, bro. It is not a year. Trust me. It's, it's been, been a year. It's been a year and a half, at Like least. a year and a half. Yeah. At least. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't remember what the fuck happened back then. I can barely remember <laughs> who, who I fucking spoke to yesterday. So, uh, yeah, I need to run through this shit real quick. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I need to rewatch it, too. That's why I got the HBO now. But, uh, yeah, super hyped. Uh, season 8. Uh, the dragons are back, obviously. And uh, uh, supposedly, the the battle scene is gonna be the biggest, longest battle scene ever oh, yeah. in the history of one of the, anything. Yeah, one of the rumors is that one of the episodes is gonna be a complete battle scene, like the whole thing is just a battle scene. I, I wouldn't be surprised, <clears throat> and I don't think it's a rumor. I think it's been confirmed. Oh, by yeah, I don't know. Production. I don't think they gave us exact time, but I think they did confirm. Yeah, it's gonna be the. Longest battle scene of all time. I don't know. Jon Snow hasn't texted me. I'm kind of worried. And about it took that. them, I believe, four months to, to to get it all. Um, to set it off. Um, yeah, no, to set, oh. <laughs> to get it all. Yeah. So I'm hyped for Game of Thrones, man. Mm-hmm. Um, we are gonna be doing a uh, a camp show for it, right? Mm, yeah, but it's gonna be late. It's gonna probably be like around ten or yeah. So uh, on Sundays, Sunday night, right after the show, right after the show, we'll be yeah. streaming and uh, Twitch TV four slash the three way podcast, no spaces with the number three, <laughs> and giving our impressions on Game of Thrones. So uh, if y'all want to come join the chat, tell us what y'all thought. Oh yeah, for sure. After every episode, that'll be great. That'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, man, can't wait for Game of, uh, Game of Thrones. I'm glad that they didn't show too many uh, spoilers. Mm-hmm. I mean, they showed some scenes, of course. Uh, it, it shows like where you can at the very end of the trailer. It shows the White Walkers like, yeah. stepping up, like, oh shit, it's about to go. Well, down. I, I think and I think I've heard on this one is that usually whenever they show the 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 season trailer, that they'll go like snippets from uh, every episode but i think in this one they said that they didn't show anything from the last episode uh, so like oh shit. so so we're not we're not getting any like major spoilers. i love it and they know what the, and that's what i've loved so much uh, about hbo and their 
uh, handling of Game of Thrones mm-hmm. uh, is that they've given kind of what the fans wanted. I mean, yeah. for example, the Blue Wedding. Uh, the Blue Wedding. When uh, the Red Wedding. No. No. Well, the oh, Red Wedding. About the other one. Yeah, oh, when okay. uh, Joffrey died yeah. and he yeah, choked, yeah, yeah, and yeah. everybody wanted that shit. Everybody was ho- was wondering when are they gonna kill Joffrey, and they uh, did. I miss that guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Um, but uh. <laughs> Um, the author, what's his name? Uh, J G G no, uh, G G's in <laughs> J R Martin. J R Martin or Token? G- I don't know. <laughs> Martin, yeah, it's something Martin. Um, he uh, this week he talked George about R. Martin something. Like that. Yeah, this week he talked about how he's disappointed that the HBO show went got so ahead of him, uh, and he's like way back, and he's like, oh, the book is gonna be different. You know, yeah, George uh, R. R. but Martin. bro, the motherfucker, yeah, George R. R. Martin, the motherfucker took forever to write the books, bro. Like, I'm okay and he with even, that. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I don't mind. I mean, I'm a fan of the, honestly, I started to start, I started to read his first book mm-hmm. and bro, it started off so slowly. I just couldn't yeah. do it. Um, yeah. But I, I mean, I'm not mad that it's going a different route. I'm mm-hmm. just like, bro, how are you going to complain when him, he himself mm-hmm. would state that like, yeah, I, you know, I'm having, a, I'm having writer's block or, you know, I haven't really written anything. Like, yeah, I'm too busy spending all my millions, like, millions yeah, of dollars. Yeah, motherfuckers just over there just. Throwing a party. Yeah, so <laughs> hey, I, he doesn't look like a party guy, but whatever, whatever oh, the fuck he's on, doing, man. doesn't look like he was really trying to work too much. And now he's complaining about how the HBO uh, HBO show has gotten like way far ahead. Like motherfucker, you should have worked, should have done something. No, I mean it's the final season anyway. So who, I mean for him, it, it it's a moot point at this section of this. Like final season, your books are gonna come out, and plus you you have like a prequel coming out, and I think he's writing, he's still writing something else. If I'm not mistaken, I forgot the details. But uh, yeah, super hype for that uh, Game of Thrones season eight trailer. Bet. Can't wait for it. Can I wait? And uh, also, um, so also, so there's been a string of like celebrities being taken down, I guess, like socially taken down. Uh, one of them was, well, the first one was R. Kelly, but we'll get to him. Oh, well, at least this year. Uh, and, and, and one, I guess we can talk about right now because uh, they just showed the, the last of it is this doc they did called Leaving Neverland, which is basically two of the kids that wa- were molested by uh michael jackson okay okay so i i haven't i haven't seen this yet mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you told me um earlier uh-huh it's a two two parts yeah, four hours parts. in total yeah two hours each does it each uh part cover one of the no they go back and forth between each one okay so okay so tell what, what are these guys saying what are, what are what's going on uh well the the thing is is that even honestly even with this doc coming out i it it, it feels believable it feels like these guys are not bullshitting what they're yeah. saying right now well, what are they like, saying like but basically they they're giving full detail they're going from how it started mm-hmm. what happened during and what, ha- and, and what and happened and what happened what happened after and how it's been affecting them throughout their lives and what's funny too well not funny but what's 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 kind of like weird is that uh, one of them, his name is Wade Robinson, mm-hmm. and he's a he's actually a, uh, I can't pronounce this word choreographer. He's like mm-hmm. a dance instructor, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And and like I didn't recognize him at first, but then when they started showing like him in the in the mid '90s and early 2000s, mm-hmm. I was like, that's him. Oh. This is guy. This guy used to like uh like dance like show like do dance routines for and sing. For yeah. Britney Spears. Mm. I was like, oh my God, I know this guy. Well, not personally, but I know of him. It was mm. so weird knowing that. And like, I don't remember him him like going to the trial because honestly, even back then, I wasn't like growing up, I was like, you know, I love Michael. I love his music. Like, I really don't believe that he did anything. And then these kids who grew up with him are actually coming out and saying that, no, he didn't do anything and blah, 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 you know, during the whole trial, uh, trial process. But like once you start watching this and once you start seeing like their mindset and how everything unfolded, mm-hmm. like you kind of see why they did what they did and why it took them so long to even come out and say anything and why Macaulay Colgan will probably never say anything, even if it did or didn't happen to him. Mm. Well, yeah. granted, Michael Jackson was or, you know, his, no. his, uh, his uh, estate is one of the <laughs> richest yeah. uh, in the world. The yeah. guy is super rich, so 
Yeah, he he even owned the music for the Beatles at one point. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, and so, and that's why there's a conspiracy. Supposedly, people are saying that's why that people want him dead because he he had the rights to that chisel. No, I don't think so. No, I don't well, think that has anything to do with it. It's more well, his his uh his own son was talking Apple? about it. <laughs> I don't know, when, but one of his sons was talking about yeah. Well, I think my dad of- had. I think one of them is called Apple. <laughs> yeah, my dad had the rights to uh, the uh, Beatles, mu- yeah. the Beatles music, and yeah. trust me, he would. His dad was telling him, he's like, my dad told me that, yeah, they they want to kill me. They want my the music. They want yeah. the rights. You yeah. Know? Uh, but that's another topic. Sorry, so. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. But uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, look, this doc, I recommend you everybody watch it. You, everyone will definitely have draw their own opinions of what they said and how it's all, all unfolding. Mm-hmm. But for me, I, I feel I feel I can believe them because because uh, because what we're gonna talk about right now next is 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 why I feel like I believe them because how what they said and how they said it, the body language, how everything was like uh, drawn out, how actually even watching this, you see that. Like everybody's interviewed separately. Nobody's even interviewed together. Like these these guys are now adults, whatever. They have yeah. families, yeah, but yeah. none of them ever do you see they them with the family. Meet them or it, they like, didn't meet it was, each other. It was totally. It separate. was all separate. Mm. So there's no like going back and forth and like maybe like like trying to be like okay maybe we shouldn't talk about this kind of thing. No, it's all just coming out of them. That's it. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, even with this, like, yes, it has some uh, ramifications now that, like, some radio stations don't want to play the Michael Jackson music. Mm-hmm. And, and like, even uh, I just saw this today in, in Devil May Cry 5. Sorry, spoilers. There's a part where Dante dances like Michael Jackson. <laughs> and the timing was so awkward when I saw that. I was like, ooh. 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 I don't know about this one, too. I haven't haven't heard about that. Yeah, I just saw it today. But, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one because the next one is R. Kelly. Okay. Now, R. Kelly, they've been sprinkling, like, little parts, bits and pieces of his interview with Gail King uh, this week. And it finally came out. What are your thoughts? Bro. uh, (laughs) I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my life. Bro, uh, R. I, Kelly, bro, I, the shit that's happened this week with R. Kelly. And he still won't go to jail. I'm sure he won't. Bro, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is pretty, like, he's feeling the pressure. You can see it. The guy oh, is. Oh, yeah, he's feeling the, the pressure. The guy is feeling the fucking pressure. Yeah. And then the two girls that his their families have been looking for them. The two followers. <laughs> his two, you know. Lovers. L- girlfriends. No, Girl- they call them girlfriends. They call them girlfriends. His two girlfriends, girlfriends also did an interview. Yeah, they defend the shit out of him. Cover for R. Kelly. Yeah. And, bro. It, and then throw their own families. Under the bus. Under the fucking bus. No. Bus runs over. Says that their families are just getting trying to do this for money. No. That their families sold or got paid for you know giving like basically knew that i don't know bro (laughs) okay okay like okay let r kelly (laughs) do nude like nude pics of them for him and knew that there was i don't know bro they're basically saying the thing is is that with them they're of age so yeah so them saying all this stuff it's not it only took it, R. Kelly, like, 10 years to realize, maybe I should just... Date my own age or yeah, older, 21 and up, 18 20, and up. 18 and up, where it's legal, yeah. and let me take control of these bitches. But... Yeah. I mean, for them, unfortunately, I feel there's nothing really, I mean, like, like society can do for them. It's more they're going to have to go through it. Uh, because oh, because they're, your own family they're the already bus? of age. And these people are, like... Trying like, their they're, damnest. They're, they're, there's going to be like, like diehard followers crazy no matter what's what. what's going on. Yeah. Like, and he just, you said he went to jail again? He went to jail, but this time it was for uh, unpa- unpaid child support. But then actually today he was released as somebody paid for it. <laughs> Bro. His benefactor, his benefactor or whatever. But anyways, like, but watching these two, like watching what's unfolding with Art Kelly and yeah. we're just watching the ne- Leaving Neverland yeah, doc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's, it's like... It's like history repeating itself, yeah. honestly. 
that's why I feel more inclined to believe these two guys. That like, why what would you? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's messed up, man. It, and and it you know both in both situations, growing up and loving yeah. that you know artist music. Yeah. And then you're hearing shit like this. <laughs> no, I know it's difficult because I I mean I like yeah. I like the music from both of these yeah. artists, but but it's like crazy, but man. like to get to a point to separate the person from the art, it's. It's difficult because it, yeah, you like their music, but you're like, no, nah, I don't fuck with him. But because you're supporting the music, you're supporting them, and it's it's like, what do you do? I mean, honestly, for me, it's more like just it's maybe it's time to start cutting it out little by little, like you know, getting off the stop smoking or stop drinking kind of thing, little by little. You know, you can't just quit cold turkey. I need my fix every now and then. Yeah. Welcome to fan therapy, <laughs> three way podcast fan therapy. <laughs> no, but. Uh, no, but just to close this out, yeah, like, R. Kelly, for sure, I do not believe for shit. Oh, I don't, R. Just Kelly Just watching did. the whole thing makes me feel. R. Kelly did it, bro. The way he, the way he, like, cried and the way he threw that tantrum makes me feel he, especially doing it in front of Gail, like, who's a woman, like, it's just him trying to do, uh, be dominant and be in, in control and it's showing, like, like, just, it, it just feels so obvious, like, damn, it's true, you know? I don't know. But then again, he still has to go through the legal process, and you know, until you're proven guilty, whatever. You and know. the Michael shit. I mean, he's dead. Yeah, there's nothing. A lot of people are like, "Oh, that. you know, uh, you you can. Uh, it's easy to trash a dead person." Yeah, that's true. But nonetheless, it doesn't. You know, if it's true, it doesn't negate dead or not. It doesn't negate the, shit, the ramifications what if, what if that of guy, that shit. Like purposely overdosed him. That's what I'm saying. Damn. A lot. A lot of people wanted Michael he, Jackson he found, dead. He found the sex tapes. No, man. He's like, you know what, this motherfucker. That, there's some shit going. I need to watch this shit because there's some shit going way above our pay right grade right right? up in here, man. Here's like 1,000 Flintstone vitamins. What the fuck? OD, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's pop. <laughs> <laughs> tell us what job thing. Yeah, it's tell a, us who do you who do I you for think sure is want to hear Down other here. people's opinions Hell on yeah. this I hear whole it. situation. But but uh yeah, let's move in into gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Game over. All right. <laughs> so Anthem is crashing PS4s. <laughs> so just when you thought Anthem couldn't fuck up anymore, they're fucking up your PS4s. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay so go ahead. <laughs> EA just released this fucking game anthem. Uh, you know, uh, hasn't been as great as people hoped it was gonna be. Uh, Super people are playing the shit out of it. I love it whenever you're in the mech, but outside, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's getting to the next uh, next fight, huh? Dude, did you hear that the fucking beginner gun was the most powerful gun at the at, like, of the whole game? No, I heard that the. Uh, DLC. If you pre-ordered in the armor you got, is the best armor you're gonna get in the. Oh, I have that whole game. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna get. Better yeah, armor well, apparently, that. like that first gun you get as a, as a default character is absolutely the best gun because as your level rises, the level of that gun also, and it's like the highest, like like because supposedly, okay, it's really quick. Uh, when you shoot them an enemy, there's a number. Yeah. That number doesn't mean shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So whenever you're hitting somebody, you see they're just. Life points are gone. <laughs> it's so stupid. All right. Yeah, well, Anthem. Well, hey, uh, game development. Um, but <laughs> apparently, uh, this game, people who are playing it on PS4s mm-hmm. are getting their PS4 systems automatically, like, shut down, turned off in yeah. the middle of playing Anthem. And then they have to, like, rebuild their memory thing. It doesn't erase anything. It's just, like... Like make it's well, like it's like if the the power went out. I yeah. yeah. Like you're shutting your PS4 off without shutting it off properly. You yeah. just disconnect the back. Correct. It's like yeah. that. So, but I have heard uh-huh. that it has bricked some systems. They said that, but I think that's just BS rumors. People just yeah, because EA and Bioware said that they actually tried to investigate all these type of matters. They did see that the that the <clears throat> PS4s were like shutting down, but none of them were breaking. I think that's just bullshit. Just you know, internet trolls trying to get on top of this hate hate train. Okay, okay, but my what I've seen mm-hmm. is I've seen I haven't bought Anthem. I don't have a fucking Anthem. Uh huh. But the other day, I was hopping on on Fortnite, All right, and my system okay. fucking shut down completely. Like, I, and I had to like 
manually turn it on. It, it was as if I disconnected it from the back. Oh, okay. So, I don't know, man. People are blaming it on Anthem. Mm-hmm. I think it's a PS4 issue because, like I told you, yeah, I heard that some people playing Apex, which is a new battle royale game, I have also experienced like shutdowns. Yeah, but is this just on the PS4 side, or are we talking about PS4 other only. PC? Okay. PS4 only. Okay. So I'm thinking <laughs> it's something to do with the fucking PS4, and fucking a couple of days ago, mm-hmm. the PS4 released a new update. Oh, uh, yeah, the new firmware update. The new firmware update, which yeah. gave you the ability now to, gives you the ability to play your PS4 mm-hmm. through your phone. iOS devices. Only. Oh, only iOS? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, God bless. <laughs> um, <laughs> through your phone, you can now connect your PS4 to your phone, and if you're on internet, you can just turn on your PS4 on your phone and play on your PS4. Yeah. I think... That in that update, they smacked some shit in and fixed the fucking crash shit. Because this has been happening with m- multiple games, not just Anthem. People are throwing shade at Anthem for no fucking reason. Well, the other thing, too, is that they're saying that that, that PS4 update with the one with the re- remote control is also uh, a replacement for killing off the Vita. <laughs> yeah. No, and uh, that's t- true because the Vita used to be able to do remote play. Yeah. Uh, so you could just get on your Vita and play from the Vita connected to internet or whatever. No. Uh, and now they put it on the phone, so... I don't know. I mean, this, there's this whole thing, like, everything's going streaming side, and, like, I have this huge theory, like, building up right now, and it's starting to come together, man. Like, I feel it's it's true. We're all, we're moving to full streaming? Full but streaming. We're engaged. But, it, but it's just not that. It's more like everybody's trying to move their, their chess pieces, and, like, like, THQ Nordic buying up all these companies. Why? Mm-hmm. And then, Why? And then Microsoft going to Nintendo. THQ service. Why? <laughs> and it's and it's starting to become more obvious. Is it? <clears throat> it looks like they're gonna just merge together and be the official gaming of Netflix. You know, and now that the systems are becoming so much better, so much faster, like Microsoft's working on their servers, and like it just makes sense. It makes sense to like make new it happen. New world order. It's a new world order. Oh order. my yeah. god! <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> That's Anthem crashing PS4s. <laughs> uh, Nintendo Labo. All right. So supposedly. So not supposedly. It's official. They, no, no, no. They weren't going to do this. Okay, you're right. They said, no, we're not dab- dabbling into VR. Well, the Nintendo has just announced for, announced for the Switch a VR Labo kit. What? With... <laughs> That you fucking <laughs> you build this shit out of cardboard. You put the switch in there. You put that shit in your face. They're giving their migrant workers a break. Wow, <laughs> and and you can like fucking do VR on the switch, and it's coming out in fucking April. Yeah, that's crazy. Fucking crazy. Am I gonna buy it? Yes. No, I need oh to God. see what this is all about. Do I think it's gonna be good? No. Probably not. No. It's a feels fucking like a VR kit made out of cardboard? Yeah. Eh, I'm it's Google, a long shot, Google, but... Google's done that already. I mean, I need to try this shit out. <laughs> I need to see what the fuck is going on. So I will, I will, I will, I will buy this. Okay. Um, freaking, it reminds me of the, uh, vir- uh, the Virtual Boy. Oh, no. Please don't say that. Which was a total failure. Dude, By the, Nintendo back in fucking the 90s. Black and red colors is just not working for me. Um, I think I tried it once. I forgot it's who bought it. It's terrible, dude. Terrible. Uh, I, but I did try it. And yeah, it yeah, was You have to put it on, on a table. Yeah. You got to put it on a table. Yeah, you got to zoom in there. You know? And then you're like this with the control. Yeah, it was fucking terrible. <laughs> um, but I'm very interested about this uh, fucking Nintendo VR. Beat Xbox to it. Oh, That's how God. you do it, well, man. Actually... Uh, yeah. There's like there's more to talk about that, but I don't know. The Xbox to it. No, because X Microsoft has the uh, AR. What the Hololens? Hololens, yes. But the Hololens, just really quick. The they Holo- veered off gaming. They, it, it veered off gaming. It's no longer going to be for it gaming. It was supposed it's, to be game focused. Now they veered now off, just, and now they're building weapons for the. Yeah, military. now it's like fucking military weaponry. <laughs> like shit. That's how good it was. Oh, fuck it. Okay. That's how then. good it was. All the right, fucking then. military is now utilizing Hololens. Yeah, but uh, uh, imagine soldiers and you got like a little shit here oh my God. and it, the, your fucking life bar video games are becoming real life, bro. Well, actually, they, they encourage that because 
the 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 correlation between playing video games like Call of Duty and being in the real world kind of thing, it's kind of close. Yeah, it, it, it helps a lot with what's the eye that level called in that one uh, in the airport? Oh my god! Hey, anyways, what's that? <laughs> uh, let me take a quick commercial break to reset the cameras, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Uh, all right. Uh, so also in gaming. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat. I can never say this name right. What? Mortal Kombat. Mortal you said Kombat. It. Mortal 11. Kombat. Like I feel like I'm tripping up my Mortal, words. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal. Mortal. Mortal Kombat. Fucking. I'm sorry, we're wasting MK11 time. <laughs> releases their story trailer, and it looks freaking awesome. Bro, lots of hype. So hype, hype, hype. Ass. <laughs> Bro, little by little, they're fucking selling me on this game. Even though I think most of their roster has been leaked already. Oh, uh, I don't care. Yeah, I know, but it's still, you know, they they released a story trailer, trailer which also shows a bunch of characters that weren't shown before. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I mean, okay, so these fuckers, uh, MK11 was announced, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, another Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. Then they did the Johnny Cage reveal, which, okay, I like this fucking the character. The Johnny Cage reveal was so good. Bro, I'm yeah. a Johnny Cage main right now. Yeah. Um, And now the story trailer... Bro, like it's like as if they're taking the inspiration of the movies and they're just taking it to another level. The game and movie. It's like they're trying to make a movie out of this game. Yeah. Because the cinematics are badass. Yeah. It looks like it actually has a fucking well-built story. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Cage has his past, future, like, past, past self. self and, and then his present his, self. Yeah, oh, present like, self, yeah. And then, yeah, I'm just like, okay. I wasn't gonna get MK11. These past reveals and trailers have totally changed my mind about Hyped. that. PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, PC. Switch. Oh my god, bro! I'm I sorry. I take it on the go, and then it takes me back to where I first played Mortal Kombat was on the Super Nintendo. Man, uh, you know what? It sure was. So I just want it, it sure back was. at that system where I feel at Mortal Kombat belongs. I'm fine. I'm fun, I'm finally happy. Nintendo is taking off all the restrictions. All the thank God. The they're the, coming back to what they were. Yes, and and I just can't wait, man. Thank you, Bowser. I just can't wait. Thank <laughs> you, Doug Bowser. You're, you're the man. <laughs> and Bowser, I trust. And Bowser, I trust. Yes, I'm very excited about Mortal Kombat 11. Build the castle. Uh, let us know. Uh, we'll probably be doing some streams so I can whoop y'all's asses online. Oh wow, that's interesting. Johnny Cage me. Johnny Cage. <laughs> um, also, this week, Devil May Cry 5 was released. Uh, but I think we're going to save that for next week because JP is a huge Devil May Cry fan. And he's been playing it. And he's going to give us our input for next week. Yeah, fucking losers who play that game. All right. No, I'm just... <laughs> and with that, let's jump into our final segment. Space Orts. Sports. <laughs> fucking sports. God damn it. Space Orts, that's your fault. Hey, man. Sound effects. Space orts. Uh, <sighs> touchdown. It's a home run. Sports. Sports. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> NFL. What happened in the NFL? Oh, well, actually, this weekend in the NFL was a lot of shit. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of bullshit talking. Some trades. What happened? And people smoking weed. On... People smoking weed. Okay, so there's this one player. I don't. What? I don't remember. But he basically. Josh Gordon. <laughs> you know, basically got on, on like snap and like started recording himself smoking weed and saying how like he needs that shit for his recovery Are you and sure it's not josh it's, gordon it's it started, like no, josh. It's not josh gordon. it started a whole debate on whether uh the the nfl should like uh keep marijuana banned done banned you got stevie and a smith saying that uh nfl players shouldn't be fucking smoking weed and playing he doesn't want to see pay, uh players high on um on the field uh, you know, other people saying, man, these fuckers need a, that shit for recovery, for pain. They're always in pain, pain, pain in the head and the hips, pain, pain, pain everywhere. Pain, 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 um, pain. but yeah, I mean, uh, that has happened. Antonio Brown supposedly is being dealt to. Supposedly he was going to go to the bills, but then supposedly that didn't come through yet. Who the hell wants to go to the bills? And then people uh, talking shit like, okay, you had a hard time with Ben Roethlisberger, but now you you expect uh, what's his, the quarterbacks for the bills? Uh, some trash ass motherfucker yeah. who overthrows the ball. <laughs> you you expect to be happy there and fucking sub zero degree weather? Uh, <laughs> like what the fuck? Um, not looking good for uh, for Antonio Brown at the moment. Um. 
Uh, Case Keenum got dealt. Oh, yeah. Um, leaving the door open for Joe Flacco to start there. Uh, yeah, man. A lot of NFL shit. Uh, where did Case go to? Oh, but it hasn't been finalized. I think this is all just rumors and shit. Oh. Because trade, free agency hasn't started yet. So, ain't, ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody made no moves yet. Fucking. So, right now, it's just all. Speculation. And talk. talk. Mm. I mean, I've, I've been seeing all this blow up on, like, Twitter, but, I mean, nothing's, like, confirmed. Yeah, and, I mean, rumors are flying in and out. Um, like I said, nothing's in fucking stone until uh, the free agency starts, which is, I'm not exactly sure when free agency starts. Mm-hmm. Um, NFL, free agency. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. No, but this whole Antonio Brown thing, though, even even if he does go to the Bills, yeah, it'll suck for him. But then again, isn't he like, what, 34, 32? He's old. He's an old receiver. Yeah, but he... If anything... I he, mean, the guy... At this point, he's <clears throat> stupid to, be, to get traded. Get your money. Get out of the NFL. Because he even hit... Even, He's even saying to himself that he doesn't need the NFL. Like, okay, then. You don't need the NFL. Then why are you crying about getting traded to another team if you don't need the NFL? I mean, I don't... You don't, I don't like, think he's handled it the best you way. You don't like and Ben Roethlisberger? Now... That's fine. You... Uh, I hope you talk to him in person instead of just over, over here crying all, all over social media and all these interviews. I hope he's, he told him this shit in person. Hopefully not with that dumbass mustache he has right now. That shit looks stupid. His <laughs> hair looks the fucking bl- weird. The, the brown. fucking bleach. No, the bleach fucking yeah. mustache. What the, the fuck? The blonde. Oh, he looks so, so terrible. It's the fucking worst. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it starts March 13th. Okay. So we're at the days. time of this recording. <laughs> days away. Days away. Uh, <laughs> Monday when this releases, we'll literally be two uh, two days away from free agency, from all this shit being final. No. Um, but yeah, uh I mean, just hasn't handled it the best way. And you can tell that the NFL, Mm -hmm. everybody is kind of just being careful about um, signing Antonio Brown. Like, this is one of the best receivers in the NFL, and he still doesn't have a team. It's fucking crazy. Mm, I wonder why. Maybe it's true. Maybe I I was defending Antonio Brown this whole time. Maybe it's I mean, true, man. It's one thing that uh oh shit, it is still alive. I thought it was dead. It's over there. Oh yeah. But anyways, uh this whole time uh, I I mean, uh, we've seen this before. Tara Owens uh fucking who well, recently with uh, what's his name in um the Giants, uh Odell Beckham Jr. Like all this outcry for them just honestly just trying to get more money. And, like, you see this from these diva receivers who are super good at their position, wanting more and more money. I don't blame them for that. But the way they're handling it, the way they're, they're, they're doing it, it's just, it's the wrong way. You don't, you want to get paid? Get paid like most people do. Sit out. Don't show up. Mm. And then get paid. Well, uh, <clears throat> also, uh, Eric Weddle, mm-hmm. uh, basically, it's a done thing, uh, even though free agency has started. Uh, he's going to sign with the L.A. Rams. Oh, my God. Uh, they need another quarterback. That's what they really need. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Philip Rivers. No, Philip Rivers played well last season. Even I was trashing him the whole season. With the Rams? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit, the Rams. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm Because th- he was, Goff. Weddle used to be with the Chargers, wasn't he? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, yeah, he's going with the Rams. Goff, Goff yeah. is. No, Goff, bro, is, getting, when you're playing Goff against, is getting carried by his defense. Well, yeah. that's true. Um, but, man, they just. It's Rex. It's stack sexy Rex all else. over again. They just stack someone else on that defense. That's fine. Eric Weddle's. I mean, fuck. He's pretty, pretty solid. I mean, they uh, also need receivers. Then uh, supposedly um, Michael Bennett is going to be <coughs> traded to the <coughs> New England New Patriots. Patriots. Yeah. And mm. then supposedly that they're going to sign the, his brother. Oh yeah, he's going to come out of retirement. A, yeah, it's rumored. It's rumored uh, that he's he gonna wants to come out of retirement. Brother. Yeah. And sign with the Patriots also, so yeah. they'll have the Bennett brothers there. Um. Other than that, there hasn't been uh, too much. Yeah, there's nothing like huge in terms of trades and signings, especially not yet since it's not official. But as far as like the the main one we're really looking out for is the Antonio Brown one for sure. 
Yeah, and supposedly uh, Denver Broncos have agreed to trade quarterback Case Keenum to the Washington Redskins for a six-round pick in the 2020 draft. What the hell? Um, Who's their um, Isn't their quarterback, what's his name? Uh, what? Castle? Is it Castle? No. What do you... Uh, Redskins uh, quarterback? Oh, um... I don't, I don't know. Who fucking knows, man? I don't know. That who fucking cares? Uh, Fuck the force. Who... Uh, Keenum, who's currently <laughs> slated to count uh, $21 million against the Broncos' salary cap for the 2019 se- oh. season, has reworked his contract and will be on a one-year deal with the Redskins, uh, sources told uh, Adam Schefter of ESPN. Mm. So, um, yeah, man, a uh, lot of crazy shit being done. Um, <laughs> and free agency. Uh, and teams have spoken to the Pittsburgh Steelers. About a potential Antonio Brown trade, have been told that a deal is expected to be in place by Friday. Yeah, which didn't happen. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, that's whatever. I mean, again, this is still all specul- speculation, especially with Antonio Brown. But we'll for sure probably have an answer by next week when we come back. Are you sure? I think so. What if, what's what's going on with the uh, with the running back? What's his name? Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, wh- what's up with him? He's still under country? I have no idea. I thought he I thought he was a free agent. Oh my god, bro. Um who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows where all these people are gonna end up? <laughs> but uh yeah, uh let's let's go into NBA and close it out with that. So the Lakers officially suck. Yeah. <laughs> LeBron can't save them. He can't play in the West. What's going on? What happened? Uh is it age? Nah, the guy has been playing like like, like pretty well, I think. Mm. I mean, he has some of the best numbers in the NBA. Um, yeah, but he's not getting that support that he used to be getting. Correct. And so yeah. that's where you got to look at, you know, did they do the right stuff by not trading for... Um, and, uh, Anthony Davis? Yeah, Anthony Davis, even though, you know, that was New Orleans, should they have included him? Who fucking knows, man? They're they so... fired that guy, so... <laughs> the yeah, GM. rightfully so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, just a bunch of mistakes done on a lot of NBA teams this season, uh, New Orleans included. Uh, but, man, I mean, LeBron can carry them on, on his own. Um, and the West is very competitive this year, mm-hmm. and you have a lot of teams... Um, coming out of nowhere that you didn't think were going to be competitive and are. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Oh, either way, I still think uh, it's a Golden State you know, <laughs> league. Uh, I, I, you know, whatever playoffs are going to happen, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be surprised that the Golden State's not there. Uh, but, yeah, playoffs are going to be uh, most likely. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I do think that it's going to be Golden State uh, in the finals, probably winning the finals, maybe against Boston. Uh or Toronto, but I don't know. Yeah, probably more more than likely against Toronto. Toronto? But, yeah. Wow. Because they have a really solid team, and then they just picked up that center. I forget his name. Uh, Gasol. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the younger Gasol? Yeah, the, the younger brother. Oh, that's right. They did trade for him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll see, man. Um, but um, They're obviously making moves. They want to <clears throat> stop being a talk trashed about. Because uh, <laughs> Toronto's always trashed on hey, with every work. year. Uh, they got Drake up in there, fucking oh, curse, right. cursing the team. So don't don't put this on Drake, bro. I Come mean, on. hey man, uh, they need to hopefully. Well, maybe this is the year. I would love to see Golden State go down. <laughs> I don't care who it is, no. the Rockets Honestly, or Toronto. I want to see them continue winning. To be honest, I, I I'd rather see them win than see somebody else at this moment. Even yeah. the Rockets. The Rockets are such a disappointment. The Rockets need to get a new GM. I'm tired of this guy and his analytics, which obviously haven't been working for years and years and years and years. Yet, yes, yet he's still there. Like, mm. it's time to move on from that. It's tough when all these big signings want to go elsewhere, man. He's, <clears throat> I'm sure he's tried to get these big signings into no, Houston. It's, it's not even just the signings. It's 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 what signings they're getting. Um because they know they can get big players. I mean, they, they've shown they can do it. I mean, when they got Dwight, that's a, that was a big showing that yeah, they can do Yeah, but Dwight it. was a disappointment in the play. Yeah, he was hyped. But the but guy that's what I'm saying, though, can't like, play offensive basketball. That, that, that's not the point. The point is that they, they were able to get him. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you're able to get, uh, uh, at that time, a high-level playing uh, 
uh, players Center. Uh -huh. yeah, coming in your team. But even with them on your team, like you're punching on these numbers, but it's not working out in reality. I mean, you can't you can't calculate these people's like emotions, their their tendencies and habits in terms of like being human. Like this guy, I don't know. This guy has just completely like lost my like uh, trust. I'm ready to move on from uh, from uh, Daryl Morey. Like, mm. like I'm sorry, Rockets fans. Like, I'm I'm done with the losing. Like, like enough with the. Oh man, we got this good player, CP3, fucking injury prone. Yeah, man, we're gonna true, go somewhere. But when he's on the court, he's pretty good. Yeah, when he's on the court. And that's true. And then we got uh, James Harden over here. Man, can he score 30, 30, 30 a night every night? But can he defend somebody? I mean, how is he in the playoffs? Or can he show up in the playoffs? Can he show yeah. up on the playoffs? That's the thing. Is there some numbers? That get, can we get the calculator out and see if we can get him in the playoffs? Like, no, man. Like, I don't know. I, I feel it's time to move on from Daryl Morey. That's all I'm saying. Well, we'll see. Uh, so, I'm hoping... Whoever the hell it is, Golden <laughs> State goes down. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like the players, uh, except uh, Durant. But um, uh, yeah, that's the best one. Yeah, fuck that guy. Durantula. Um, yeah, fuck Slim that guy. Reaper. Uh, but I mean, uh, I just, I mean, I like the team, I like the squad, I think, I like the coach. I, li I mean, I like, I like them. But come on, I don't want to see the same people win all the time, except uh, the New England Patriots. Uh, oh God, God bless them. Right all right, well, thank you guys <laughs> for watching the Three Way Podcast. Let us know what you guys think <laughs> about what the fuck we just said in this episode. Yeah, we, we, I feel like we gave a lot of polarizing topics. So for sure, I would love to hear everyone's comments about on um, these subjects and of course uh you can always follow us on instagram on twitter on facebook uh you can follow us at twitch.tv for slash the three-way podcast uh how we we haven't come up with a fucking group stream this month huh oh you're right we, we need haven't a, we need a group stream i'm down I don't know, follow some Apex. Yeah, follow us. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, follow us on uh, twitch.tv slash the three-way podcast, yeah. and you can catch all our streams live at the moment. Also, yep. all our on-demand videos are out there. If you miss an episode, you can just catch it on there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. All right, thank you, guys. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>